Hi darlings, it's been a minute, in a minute I mean months, <laughs> but today is Sunday, I've decided, you know what, make a video, why would you start a page and then just go away, that's kind of crazy, ain't it Devin, so I said I'll make a video to put on my page, I am currently going to do my Sunday walk at Tower Grove Park, it's hot as a dog in the squad right now. Ooh. And it's crazy because they say 50 degrees outside, but it's hot. Um, I'm going to do my Sunday walk, get my Sunday Starbucks, and then I want to do some meal prepping today because I'm on my weight loss journey to get snatched for the summertime. We have a hundred days into the summer. So I'm on my journey for that. Uh, so I want to do some meal prepping. Um, this, you can probably get close to my car. Uh, get, it, well, I'm talking about weight loss. Y'all hear the mail, the other mail truck, the uh, ice cream truck. Temptation will not get me. Look at it. Go and pass because I don't want no ice cream. I don't want no ice cream or nothing. Anyway, sorry. Um, But yeah. I am going to go ahead and do this walk. My walk is typically four miles to the entire Tower Grove Park. It's about an hour to do it because um, I haven't really gotten back to the speed that I want to get up to. But yeah, I'll talk to you guys later on about my new fitness and health journey and my routine for gym and working out and cardio and da 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 da, -da. But right now, I'm going to hit this walk and then I'll get back with you in a few. I'm going to show you. My Tower Grove is my favorite. It's such a beautiful park. It is such a beautiful park. There's no leaves or anything, but it's still so beautiful. There used to be a, a Confederate um, statue right there, but they took it down. But uh, it's just a beautiful park. Let's see on a Sunday when it's nice out. So yeah, I just had to show off my little, my little park that I love so much. The trees. The trees are starting to bloom. Look at that. Oh, look the sun in my face finally. Look at that. We're starting to get some bloomage here. The beautiful sights of spring. All right, back to this walk. So I'm feeling a little low energy today doing this walk. When I did my walk on Wednesday, this past Wednesday, I was hitting it. I was high stepping. Today, because I had a cheat day yesterday, and I think I'm feeling sluggish from that cheat day. So now I'm trying to figure out what day is my cheat day going to be. If I'm going to have one or not, because I don't like, like, I look forward to my Sunday walks. But not feeling like this. So now I'm trying to figure out if even on my cheat day, I can actually have a cutoff time, like still only eat within a time frame. I don't know. But I'm figuring it out because I'm not I'm not feeling it right now. I'm not feeling doing this. Oh the dog scared me. <laughs> no, you're, no, you're fine, you're fine. You're fine. He's he or she. He's pretty. <laughs> uh cute coat too. The dog stands called coats. I think so. Um, but so I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do because I'm not feeling it. Normally I'm hyped about my walk on Sunday. So hyped about it right now. I'm not. Also, why <laughs> I just said the same thing. They got a pretty coat. <laughs> um why do people in public these days go out of their way to not make eye contact? Like, what happened to just being friendly and personable and just a random good morning and a random hi? What happened? I don't know. I'm rambling. I'm tired, so let me finish this walk. Okay. I'm going to get my oil change. Um, I finished my walk. I have the sniffles because it's a little chilly out. But 
but excuse me. Oh, uh, not crazy. I had a hoodie on and stuff. I just think, like I said, I was just really low energy. Cause that 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 uh cheat day. And that's the thing about. See, finish walking. See it. Yeah, see what it say? What is it? I don't know. I was there myself. Mm, anyway. Oh, got my heater seat on. Oh, I lost it. Um, so, yeah. I think cheat day is like a double-edged sword. When you first starting off. Like once you get disciplined, once you get structured, that's different. But when you first starting off, cheat days are a double-edged sword. I think. I don't know. This stuff is just so... You just figure it out as you go. Because part of feel like, well cheat days set you back and then part of me feel like if you don't do cheat days then you're more likely to have really rogue weeks where you're just messing up on Wednesday messing up on it because you are depriving yourself overly depriving yourself so I don't know but I do know this thing keep, this car keeps getting stuck on I do know that I'm going to get my coffee um, I need to run to the grocery store because we went to the grocery store yesterday my mother my daughter, we went to the grocery store yesterday and we didn't get not a damn bit of nothing healthy. Because it was cheat day. So I'm like, let me get everything. So we went there and then get a banana, a fruit, a grape, a broccoli, nothing. So we're gonna, I'm going to go grab her because she also didn't get that. <laughs> it was a cheat day too. And she's doing really good. She's down like almost 40 pounds, I think, mama down. Yeah. So she really, like, she's really, I'm not where she at yet. I'm still like, but I'm going to grab her so she can make sure um, she stays track, stays on track for this week. Because when you, when you don't have enough, you cheat on the easy, quick stuff. When you have food stuff prepped in the house. And then I think when you have everything that you need to have. I'm sorry, y'all. This man threw me off. Uh, anyway, let me go get my coffee. Um, Cause I gotta do meal prep. I do my bubble bath. It's self care Sunday. So I have to do my bubble bath. Take me a good soak. Um, and then I have to do my little meal prep for the week. So I'm gonna hit the coffee. Starbucks, my best friend. And then, cause I, cause I'm, I'm challenging myself. Cause, cause, let me start driving. Cause the caloric intake on those things, it's crazy. And even though I, I get non fat milk. You know, it's still, it's still crazy. But I love them. So my thing is to, he got right behind me too. My thing is to not overdo it. So I've now made myself like down to just one a week. And that's on Sundays. Because on Sundays, I do my version, version of fasting. Not jails. My version of fasting. Don't, don't tell me what I'm doing. Um, and it's just... It's just, um, I don't eat it all on Sundays. And I've done that for, I feel like I've done that for almost a year. Not eating on Sundays at all. No actual chewable, digestible, digestible, digestible food. But I will have a Starbucks. So on Sundays, typically, what's this rattling? On Sundays, typically, I'll, uh, I'll say, I'll say fourth from Tower Grove Park. So when it's really warm outside I walk to Tower Grove Park so I'm on Sunday I'm maxing it like at, at no less than like uh, 1100 1200 steps so I'll um gonna be sitting here all these cars I'll get my coffee and for me coffee suppresses my appetite it doesn't make me hungry um it doesn't make me want to eat at all so I get my Starbucks coffee uh, he just is speeding uh, on Sundays and that is literally my food for the week uh, I'm sorry for the day so what I'm going to go ahead and do is grab my starbies and then grab my mommies. See y'all in a minute. You see what it says. Spring is on. It's almost time for spring. I got a different coffee. I typically get the white mocha, white chocolate mocha iced coffee with um, uh, no whipped cream, vanilla cold foam, and non-fat milk with some pumps of toffee but i wasn't feeling like it today so i got this instead 
Don't say nothing about it. Don't eat it. It's fat free milk. Don't say nothing about it. That's all I'm having for today. Now don't start judging me. Yeah. It's not all sugar either. <laughs> it's not all sugar. It's protein and whey powder. There's some little whey powder in there. <laughs> we are in Schnucks. It is one of my our local grocery stores here in St. Louis, Missouri. And oh, I know they have this. I don't like the sparkling ones. I'm looking for kombucha. Uh, now, these are the ones I, I typically always get. The doctor, the brew doctor, they don't sell for two for seven. But I also like Kavita. But I don't know. This, I don't want to just consider kombucha. Because it don't say kombucha on her. And I really literally only want kombucha. And this one was nasty. Um, so, I don't know. And they don't have my, they don't have my mango, mango tango I like in that brand. So, I think I'm going to get, I don't know. I ain't got nothing but one of the pineapple ones, but they, I think I'm gonna get this one. I think I'm gonna get these. The, I'm gonna get the, um, these are not the same. Yeah, let me figure this out. I'm, figuring, I'm, I'm gonna get this one. Let me figure this out, because I don't know what I'm doing at this point. The sugar is crazy in that though. What is that? What's the, how many, this is 15 ounces, and this one is, oh! Let me see. Let me get these. She's trying to get a little bit of watermelons. Now, that's not even a real watermelon. This is a real watermelon. Why is it that size? Because it's mini. The mama left it. Oh, it's an orphan watermelon. Yeah. She said the mama left it, so it's an orphan watermelon. So it, it didn't get enough nourishment, so it didn't grow. Ooh. So then it's not going to be healthy for like It was the run of the litter of a watermelon. She just said anything. And this stuff here. I just started drinking it this past week, and it has been a lifesaver. It is the, um, I'm close, this beet juice. So I have low, 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 low. And I chew ice so bad. Like, I chew ice every day. I sometimes two cups, big Stanley cup full of ice. Um, so I'm like, to, I did it to the point where my teeth start to hurt. So I'm like, damn, you gotta stop. But iron pills, I never absorb it. I never absorb iron pills properly, so they're never effective. So, I'm like, let me get this bee juice. I know it's nasty, and it's not nasty. So, that bee juice there is saving your girl's teeth. I don't know, y'all. Yes, half a pound. Um, a little thicker. Um, uh, I don't know. Ooh, look a little suspect. My Sundays are never this long, and I somehow made this Sunday long. So I didn't get to take my um, my normal spa bubble bath deal that I do on Sundays, cause I end up going to Snoop. Well, I thought I knew I was gonna go to the grocery store. End up, I feel like been there longer than I thought. Um, then I grabbed myself from my sister, went to her house, ended up going in her house, then standing outside talking to her forever. By the time I got home, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take the shower. My face is feeling so dry right now because I have um, this discoloration serum on it. And you can't put any moisturizer on it until the serum soaks in the skin. Because I have like this, it's getting lighter and like certain like little spots, whatever. My face is feeling dry right now. That's irritating me. But I wanted to show you how um, I'm going to do some meal prepping. This week meal prep is going to be really light because I want to have a really lean week. Like just as healthy as I can get it. <laughs> so I want to have a really, because I really have a goal for the next three weeks. I won't say until y'all see it. I'm sorry for this at y'all. But um, so I, I want to make these last three weeks of March count because spring is afoot. It's a little bit around that corner. And I got to be cute. <laughs> so anyway, I did order some um, meal prep containers. I'm one of those girls. Like, 
in order for me to start a journey, I feel like I need something new. Like new gym shoes, new workout clothes, new uh, new note, something for me to really feel like I'm in this. So this time around, it was meal prep stuff. Did I need it? So, that's what I did. I got this thing to open it. Baby. Yeah. Um, my face is feeling so dry. Like, is it soaked in enough yet? It's irritating. Um, they got this box. <laughs> you can't prep nothing. They prepped this box today. But yeah. I got it open just to have another box to open. Yes, love that. But can you see it? So it's um, I, I guess it's like more like salad. I'll show you salad bowls and stuff. This was twenty something dollars on Amazon, which is not bad considering that first of all everything is completely high. And containers, I typically go to like Burlington and Ross and I get like cheaper like glass containers. But if you think about it, after you get done getting enough for a week of those four ninety nine cheaper containers, you up there to the same price. So I'm like, yeah, and then I ain't wanna leave the bed. I was I, I ordered these on Friday and I was like, I ain't leaving the bed. It was one of those days and I was not for it. So these are it's called Bento or ben, not the bench Bino, Bento box. Not that this is a map. And it's purple, my favorite color. So these are the salad bowls, I'm assuming. Gotta rinse them out. These are cute. Salad bowls with the lids to them. With the lids and can on. What's this? Oh, just that. And then these are like the little snack salad. Snack bowl. I got one left in there. Uh, so these are kind of like, you want to, I got broccoli for a snack. I love broccoli. I don't like broccoli at all, actually, but I know it's healthy for you and it's, I can't have hot fries. So I got these uh, for a snack, so I can put like broccoli in there and some uh, blue cheese or whatever, or you can put whatever you want to put in there. <laughs> Fruit, dip, like, it's just whatever, cute little snack in there. Got that here and everything. And then this is just the basic warmth, I do believe. And I hope you don't have a good in. Oh, look how cute that blue is. It's giving springtime. So, yeah. These are cute too. These can be for whatever I made. Um, you know, that dog. That's my upstairs neighbor dog. <laughs> yeah. He, he's ball riding. All he do is bark. The minute he leave the house, he barks, he cries. If they when they come back, he's quiet. The little thing, he gets on my nerves. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna go do it with meal prep. I may throw in a glimpse of meal prep at the end of this video. If I end this video now, then I'll, I'll put one in there. I don't know. What y'all think? Did I go ahead and end it? Or should I show y'all a little preparation and a preparation? I don't know. We'll see. That's what we'll see. If you can, if, <laughs> once this camera goes off, if it goes off and it's black, if it goes off <laughs> and it's uh, me, we'll just all find out together, not one way. What you want, little girl? Ta da! You guys came with me to the kitchen, the meal prep. I'm not going to show you all the in depth meal prepification of it all, but. Um, I'll let you see how it looks when it's done. I got my oil on my face. Good, it's driving me inside. I can't stand a dry skin. So, um, yeah. Let me go ahead and get to it. I don't feel like it. Good thing it's not complicated, but let me go ahead and get to it. Yeah, this child done bothered me about coming in here and trying to help me, and she ain't did a thing. Uh-huh. You ain't did I a put thing. The eggs in there. He did what? I put the eggs in the oil. Who all got teenagers? 
<laughs> How fun are they? Anyway, I'm still prepping and milling and milling and prepping. I have. I, don't come over here and get on my manicure. I have um, in the oven. I have the egg beaters for my breakfast sandwiches. I have the egg white muffins for. I'm trying to do the um, copycat version of the Starbucks egg white bites with the, the red pepper in it. I got those two in the oven. I got my boiled eggs for my salad. You should do I'm the potato put, bites next time. Did you hear me talking? Oh, it's rude. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna put these in there and make these salads up. I'm trying to get through it because I'm tired. So yeah, that's what I'm doing currently. I got these, and what I said I was gonna do with these for my mama, I was gonna um, half them because it's 100 calories in one, which is not bad, but the fat grams I don't necessarily like. So I'm gonna half them. Could you have a breakfast sandwich and you have your stuff? So that's good enough. So yeah. Well, we don't have your bag bigs all over too. Okay, so the salads are done. So I have six salads in total. Three for me, three for my daughter. Cause she's on this journey with me. Um, they have, so what I did, I bought six eggs. But I only used the yolk of three. And I used the white of the others. Because you know the yolk got all the fat in it. So I got banana peppers in it. I got um, both house um Creamy Ranch is yogurt based and it has like uh, I think four grams of fat in it, 50 like 50 calories um, for like two tablespoons. So I put two tablespoons in both. So I got me just a salad concoction, turkey, um, banana peppers because it's a must. I thought I already said that. So this is the I got the green power. Um, lettuce base with all the arugula, kale, blah, 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 and I put some romaine with it. That's that. Then I'll come over here. This is the pulled chicken. Um, I made this as healthy as I can make it. There's no butter. There's nothing. The only fat in this is whatever fat's in the chicken. It's rotisserie chicken. I pulled it, and I got little scoops. I mean, I say little scoops, little scoops of potato salad because that packs a big punch. Little scoops of potato salad. I'm missing a bun on this one. So I'm going to put these lids on here. Because these are the lunches for me and Kira. We're sticking to a really strict. Either you're going to have a salad. Or you're going to have a pulled, a pulled uh, chicken sandwich. That's it. And I'm going to do the two breakfast items. Um, and then I'll do the broccoli snack bowls. And then that's going to be it. I'm going to hit it right onto that bed, baby. Because I'm ready to lay it right on down. Okay, this is the breakfast breakfast baby i'm going to breakfast the brekkie as australians say it options um this is I, so i told y'all gonna cut the hash browns in half because of the fat content and the calories i didn't want to but my back told me to um this is the egg mcmuffin it has one little slither well cut in half piece of provolone on it turkey sausage and then i i um baked some egg beaters and season them up on a pan and bake them in the oven. I take a little cup and cut a little circular shape out of it and made those. Those and these are, can you see, these are the um, egg bites, egg white egg bites. So that's that. I got to cut this broccoli up and then I think I'm going to be done. Yeah. Okay. So here's the little snacks with the broccoli and the blue cheese. I also have two different kind of grapes. Kira likes, um, cotton candy grapes I don't but I got me the black jet some grapes um, and then I have bananas and cherries so that's the fruit side of it so hold on. so I'm just really trying to make it to where it is as healthy as healthy can be this week I said I have a goal I'm going to wrap those things up and call it a day I'm tired. I shouldn't even sit in this bed because Lord knows I ain't going to get out of it. Oh, So, that ends this video. I will be checking back in with you guys sooner than months. <laughs> but until then, darlings, good night.